Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our PHP PDO using bind param function crud. Okay. So now guys, we have seen that how to insert the data and now let's fetch the data which we have stored in our database. So now guys, let's begin and finish this soon. So we have already designed the user interface and yep guys, let's continue with creating the table. Let's give a table. Let me just zoom it. Yep, and let's design this table using bootstrap class. Table, table, hyphen bordered. All done. Let's create the table head. That is table row and one table heading, which means ID. Next will be full name. Then email, phone, and password all done so now guys let's continue with table body t body then table row and then table data so here we will be fetching all the record so guys now let's begin open php and close php let's write the query query is equal to select star from the table name so table name is students let's copy this paste here let's execute that statement execute this statement dollar database connection of prepare function then your query inside that so this database connection over here let's include that in our index page so you just need to include function where dbcon.php file so our database is included now you can execute this dollar con so now guys let's execute this prepared statement execute -E -E execute function now let's create the result is equal to dollar statement your executed statement from that statement you are going to use fetch function to retrieve the data so by default you will get the fetching format in pdo or fetch are associated data let me just give that over here fetch associated data and now guys let's check with the if condition dollar result if a record is there you are going to show else you will tell no record found something like let's open and divide the php and create the table row table data where you can find this five table headings let's add the call span is equal to five and let's tell no record found perfect so now guys you can if result is found just loop that so let's loop using for each loop open and close where dollar result as dollar row so here let's close php open php and yep guys let's begin with table row table data where we will tell php open is equal to and close dollar row of your id same concept full name full name email phone and course so yep let's uh, let me remove this extra thing and now guys let's check the output okay so it's telling it's not the correct method warning it's a warning guys over here illegal string offset oops i think we have should give over here all okay it's just written one data now let's refresh perfect so it was just searching for the id okay so now guys we have successfully fetched the data 
and yep guys let's continue next video how to edit the data using the bind param function okay so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share